Well, credit cards can be a great tool when used responsibly. With just a quick tap, we can make a transaction and worry about where the money is coming from later. But millions of Americans have racked up debt on their credit accounts. ABC's Melissa Don has some helpful tips on how to manage and pay off credit card debt. A new report from NerdWallet found that Americans owe a total of $1.21 trillion in credit card debt. This year we found that credit card debt is up 16% compared to a year ago. And that's not the only form of borrowing that costs more. Mortgages, student loans, and auto loans are also up, which is putting a lot of people in a very tough situation when it comes to being able to repay those loans. NerdWallet's Sarah Rathner says the first step to paying down debt is to make a list of all the amounts you owe and the interest rate for each debt, then make a debt payoff plan. And that idea is to keep you motivated motivated and organized while you make debt payments. One popular method is debt avalanche, where you prioritize the debt with the highest interest rate first, then move to the debt with the next highest interest rate on your list. Or you could try a debt snowball, where you focus on the debt with the lowest balance and keep moving your way up to higher balances. Rathner says you can also try to lower the interest rates on your cards. Start by calling the number on the back of your credit card and talk to somebody in customer service and see if you'd be eligible for a lower credit card interest rate. You can also look into balance transfer credit cards. You typically have to pay a small fee. It's three to 5% of the transferred balance. So that's something to budget for. But if what you can stand to save on interest is higher than that fee, it does become worth it. And if you're struggling to make just minimum monthly payments, Rathner says there's help available. Look for a nonprofit credit counseling service. They can help you with your budgeting, with debt negotiations, and with other actions you can take to help make your debt a little bit more manageable. Melissa Adon, ABC News, Los Angeles.